Ever wondered how to calibrate a hydrogen sulfide gas detector? Today, we're going to demystify this process, highlighting the importance of calibration for ensuring both safety and accuracy. Regular calibration of your hydrogen sulfide gas detector is crucial to maintain its performance and reliability. It's not just about tweaking a few knobs and dials, it's about making sure that you're working in a safe environment where the equipment is doing its job correctly. Before we dive in, remember that proper work permits and authorizations are necessary. Informing all respective departments is also a critical step. You wouldn't want to trip any logics or interlocks accidentally, would you? Our focus for today's calibration procedure is the Crocon Make Hydrogen Sulfide Gas Detectors. They're known for their reliability and precision, and with regular calibration, they can serve you well for years to come. Now that we have the required permissions, let's move on to the next step, which is opening the gas detector. Opening the gas detector is an important first step. Start by rotating the detector's cover cap anti-clockwise. This reveals the internal display, a crucial component of the device. Now, under clean atmospheric conditions, the display should read 000 parts per million, a sign that the detector is ready for calibration. Don't forget to check the supply voltage between the plus and minus terminal of the detector. It should be 24 volts DC. Having confirmed the detector's supply voltage, we can now proceed to zero calibration. Zero calibration is a crucial step in ensuring the accuracy of our hydrogen sulfide gas detector. Our calibration journey begins with a tool known as the Kuro Mag Magnet. This rather unassuming magnet plays a pivotal role in our calibration process. Place the end of the magnet over the menu key of the detector. In response, the detector's green status LED will flash and the decimal point above zero will illuminate. You'll also notice that the display backlight comes alive, adding a gentle glow to the proceedings. Now, it's important to ensure that our environment is free of flammable gas during this step. The reason is simple. We need a clean baseline for our calibration, a zero point, if you will. This allows us to subsequently measure the presence of hydrogen sulfide with precision. Once you've confirmed the absence of flammable gas, we can proceed. With the CRO mag magnet, hover over the UP or DOWN arrow pads. Our goal here is to adjust the detector's display until it reads zero. This is a delicate process requiring a steady hand and a keen eye. Remember, the more accurately we set our zero point, the more accurate our subsequent measurements will be. And there we have it. That's the zero calibration process in a nutshell. Each step, each action, carries weight and contributes to the overall accuracy of our gas detector. With zero calibration done, we are ready to proceed to span calibration. Span calibration is the next step in calibrating our hydrogen sulfide gas detector. Span calibration is a crucial procedure that ensures our detector is fine-tuned to accurately measure the presence of hydrogen sulfide gas. Let's walk through the process together. First up, we'll use our trusty Chromag magnet. Place the magnet over the menu pad on the detector. Watch for the decimal point above the word CAL to light up. This is your signal that the detector is ready for span calibration. Now, it's time to introduce our calibration gas. Apply the gas to the detector at a steady flow rate of half a liter per minute. It's essential to maintain this rate to ensure the detector calibrates accurately. This next step is all about patience. Allow the reading on the detector to stabilize. This might take a moment or two, but it's vital to ensure the detector is accurately calibrated. Once the reading has stabilized, it's time to adjust the display. Using our Caro Mag magnet once again, place it over the UP or down arrow pads. We want to adjust the display until it reads the correct concentration of hydrogen sulfide gas. Remember, precision is key. And just a quick note, if your control equipment display requires adjustments, don't hesitate to refer to the operating manual for your specific equipment. It's there to help you and ensure you're getting the most accurate reading possible. With span calibration complete, we are almost done with our calibration process. Remember, regular calibration is the secret to maintaining the accuracy and reliability of your hydrogen sulfide gas detector. 
It's not just about safety, but also about ensuring the longevity of your equipment. So, keep up the good work, and let's move on to returning our detector to normal operation. The final step in calibration is returning the detector to normal operation. This is a crucial part of the procedure, ensuring that your hydrogen sulfide gas detector is ready to accurately and safely monitor your environment. To return the detector to normal operation, you'll need to use the KRO Mag magnet once again. This might seem like a minor detail, but it plays a substantial role in ensuring the detector's functionality. It's a bit like the bow on top of a perfectly wrapped gift. It completes the process and signals that everything is in order. Placing the CRO Mag magnet over the menu pad is like flipping a switch back to on. You're telling the detector, OK, we've made some adjustments, but now it's time to get back to work. It's a simple action, but it carries a lot of weight. And just like that, you've returned your detector to normal operation. But don't be fooled by the simplicity of this step. It's not just about placing a magnet over a pad. It's about ensuring that the detector is ready to do its job, to keep you and your environment safe from the potential dangers of hydrogen sulfide gas. Remember, a correctly calibrated detector is not just a tool, it's a lifeline. It's an early warning system, a guardian that never sleeps. It's there to alert you to the presence of hydrogen sulfide gas in your environment allowing you to take action before it becomes a problem. And so with the Cro-Mag magnet placed over the menu pad, your hydrogen sulfide gas detector is once again ready to serve you. It's been checked, calibrated and returned to normal operation, all in the name of safety and accuracy. There you have it. A calibrated hydrogen sulfide gas detector, ready to detect even the slightest traces of hydrogen sulfide gas. Remember, Calibration is not a one-time process. It's a routine that ensures your safety and the accuracy of your equipment.